Welcome to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how you can rotate your 3D model entities in volumetric windows. The window can be volumetric or immersive. So we are going to apply rotation to the re reality view. So if you render your reality view in immersive uh, window, it will still work. But we have been using volumetric window in our previous sam code samples as well. So let's stick to that for now. So let's go to our globe view. If you guys have been following along in the videos, you would be here where I am right now. Uh, but if you are not, uh, let me know. Um, I maybe put the code in GitHub somewhere and I'll share the link in the video description as well. So let's get to the implementation. So let's run the app first. See where we are. Okay, let's move the windows around so that you guys can see both the simulator and the um, code. Our app is running now. Open the globe. So this is the globe that we are going to work with today. I can't see the handle. Maybe let me change back to museum night. Yeah, so there's the handle. So our globe is pretty small. Let's first scale the entity a bit so that we can view the rotation clearly. I'm gonna do entity dot scale and I want to multiply it by D3 and it will be float. I can do the same X, Y, Z as I'm doing for the position, but there is a better way to do it, which is we can, I can say repeating and it will set all the values to this value. Let's make it um, three times bigger than what we already have on the app. And open the globe. You can see that now our globe is bigger than before. There's one thing you guys might have to do if you have been following along. Previously, the default size of the volumetric window was 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 meters. I have changed it to one meter, one meter, one meter, so that our globe will fit into the volume. So now that our model entity is bigger than before, now let's go get into adding the rotation for this one. So to add the rotation, we want to add the rotation 3D effect. And I want to say, okay, you know, rotate the 3D effect by some angle and on one of the axes. As I have mentioned before, in vision, the x-axis is your thumb, uh, sorry, the x-axis is your finger, and then this is your y, and this is your z. And then we want to rotate our globe around our y-axis. So let's set the axis to y. And then I want to set the angle. So what should I set the angle to? Well, uh, you know, let's Google something and see what we, we can find. Okay, from the quick search, I have found this Stack Overflow article which shows a very good picture of what is your pitch, what is your axis yaw and roll. So when we are rotating the element on the, in, in our case, it's Y axis, it's called yaw. And when you are rotating in terms of your X axis, it is called pitch. So it, let's say if we want to rotate the uh, globe like this, and if we are now kind of move around the Z axis, so it will be roll. Now let's see how we can calculate our yaw. So here it talks about yaw is a tan of our, you know, how much rotation we want to do. So let's get back to our code. And I want to set a state here, which we will be setting. So private for, let's not call it yaw, let's say rotate by or something and call it double equal to 0, 0.0 so this is the property uh, that we want to, and then it should be in radians and then it will be rotate by right so this is how you can apply the rotation 3d effect modifier when this will change our element our reality view uh, component or scene will rotate by that much so now to rotate, we want to apply the gesture so that it can rotate. So what we want to do is we want to say gesture. And in, in this term, we want to drag. So this will be a drag gesture. 
and we want to say minimum distance 0, 0.0 let's format it a bit so that uh, we can see the code clearly so we have a drag gesture and we want to apply this gesture to any entity within the volumetric window or within your scene right so we want to say target to any entity when we are dragging and once we do that then we say on change right on change we get a value so we get the value so now we want the drag start and the end so let's do that so this is the location 3d and we want to say value dot and we want to convert from the final um, from the local point to the scene point because we are rotating in the scene so we want to convert from value dot location 3d from local to scene so that's the final point let's get the start location which will be value dot convert value dot start location 3d and then the same thing local and then we want to go to scene so we got two points let's get the delta let delta will be location 3d minus start location so once we get the delta let's get set our rotate by property so we want to rotate by so we want to rotate by what's the difference minus by a sensitivity that how sensitive we want this to be so let's say we want to rotate it by delta into let's say 100 and then we want to do 8 and of this thing right so we got our rotate by so because this is a double so we'll have to convert this into double it's casting into double uh, okay so i need to use here delta dot x so this will be our rotate by and uh, once this change it should then rotate our model accordingly so let's run the code open globe and so this is our volumetric window and if i now dragging it and you can see that it's rotating but it's very slow so you can change this rotation but i want to rotate by 200 now so that's the sensitivity that we have kept so if i am rotating now again you can see that it's rotating accordingly so this is how you can implement rotation in your app thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the next video